Hi everybody, Jackie Edwards here again from Bali and still having a wonderful time, been really, really busy, but learning so much. So one of our recent speakers is talking to us about leadership. So I've got a couple of top tips that I want to share with you about that. And it's, it was for me it was a slightly different take on leadership and thinking about thinking about it in a different way. So it's not just, you know, how you manage people, you know, being a manager, telling people what to do, having a team and just being in charge. There's, there's a lot more to being a good leader um, that lots of us don't really think about. I know it was something that I've really thought about or things that I've connected to each other. So we had a really wonderful speaker, and one of the things that she made really, really clear was that leadership, in order to know that somebody's an effective leader, it's all about how they get results. So nothing else really matters in being an effective leader other than have you got the results. So it doesn't matter, you know, if you're liked, I mean, those things do matter, you want to be right, you want to, it, it may help you get the results you're looking for, but in the end, leadership only really matters by getting results. And how do you get results? Because everybody can get out there and, you know, say, oh yes, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but if it really matters about results, what do you need to do to get results? And what you learn is that you need to take action. Again, there's lots of things that can kind of build up to it, but the only way you're going to get results is by going out there and taking action. Again, looking into there a little bit deeper, what kind of prevents you from taking action or what makes you take action? And it's all about the beliefs that you hold and have about yourself and have about you know what you can do and what you can't do. And most of those beliefs are made up of past events. So if you look and say, you know, I don't believe I can do it, then you're not going to be you know, inspired or motivated to go out there and take the action. If you don't think you can do it, you, don't, you won't take the action and you won't get the results. And maybe it's because, you know, it's in school you got a bad grade in maths. And so now you think, oh, no, I can't keep track of my financials because, you know, I got a bad grade in maths and I don't know what I'm doing. And that's, that's not the truth. That's just something that happened years ago, and it's the, the truth that you've told yourself in your head, it's not the truth that's out there for everyone. So just because you failed maths, you know, 10 years ago, doesn't mean that you can't keep track of your financial statements for your business or for yourself now. So how do you stop linking those two? And that's where it's a lot about, you know, being positive and changing your beliefs, talking to yourself, and really digging deep to understand why you have that belief and where that belief came from. So if we use my example about failing math back when you were in school, you look at that and say, you know, what does that mean? Does that really mean that I can't do anything with math and I'm no good and I can't, I can't keep track of my financials, I'm no good with money because I failed math back when I was, you know, 11. No, that's not what it means. So if you dig down a little bit deeper, you can say, no, it just means at that time, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't understand my lesson well enough, or I, I didn't know enough about math at that time. It's been, you know, years since that happened. I've learned since then. Now I, I do know enough about math to be able to take control of my financials and my money situation. So you just need to really dig deep into what's the reason behind why you're not taking action, and that's the reason why you're not getting the results. And then really thinking about it on a serious level and understanding, is that really true or is that just something I made up about myself? And most of the time, it's just what you've made up about yourself. It's not what's true about everything. You generalize it. Because that's how our brain works and we just kind of keep track of everything in there. So this is, there's so much more to that. And again, I can't cover it all in just a quick 10 minute session. But if you want to be an effective leader, you need to focus on getting results. And in order to get results, you need to take action. And if you you or your team are taking action, then you're going to get the results. Or maybe you're not taking the right action. If you're not taking actions or your team isn't, you need to dig down to under, dig down deep to understand why aren't you taking action. What are the beliefs that are holding you back from taking those actions? And then work on changing those around, finding out the real truth, and moving forward from there. So I hope that was helpful. It was a huge, huge summary of you know what we spent five hours on um, during our session. 
So I hope you found that helpful and I hope you'll come in for the next video.